Don't be scared! Want me to come along? There is no escape! One with nature! Side, Ito's. <laughs> what shall we do? Solidify! Stabilize! Now you shall perish!
gather! Solidify. Let's roll. Out a boy. Whoa, Madam Ping and Cloud Retainer. It appears you made haste after all. One arrived but moments before you. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Miss Illuminated Bird, haven't you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? Cuz, you're the one who's known Madame Ping the longest! <sighs> Street word. <clears throat> or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? <laughs> Cloud Retainer. You are uncommonly polite today. One, uh... uh hmm. Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. On you, please continue from here. Uh, all right? So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life.
Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Ah, let me think. Yes, I do believe I recall that encounter. <sighs> what a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. It appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? We like to call her Guijong. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I sense that she has already told you all about her. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. There is no harm done. After all, Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liyue. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. Uh, so how has she proven herself right again exactly? Once upon a time, she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom. But as she interacted more and more with them, her opinions on them began to change. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake.
With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them. And a human, who has reached their full potential, may well be her equal. Someone who could have as much to teach an adeptus as to learn from them. <laughs> she always had a way with words. That her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Zhang and one both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. As Gui Zhang once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. When I see the sight of Liyue Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. <sighs> of all of us, it was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. Huh. <laughs> if she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. <laughs> Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. I can make arrangements right away.
Oh, as much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm. It's been a long time since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did. And whenever I play that tune, it always reminds me of her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming, it almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too, looking just like they did in the old days. No matter how much time goes by, the moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? be lying to myself if I claim to have completely moved on. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that, even if one wished to mourn for an eternity, it would be a nigh impossible feat. Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. Be that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. Well, if you're sure. What's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Ah, uh -huh. and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no, everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. Well, 
In that case, happy lantern ride, everyone! Happy lantern ride! Oh, I... I just remembered that I have some... Uh, work to do at Yuhai Pavilion that I need to discuss with Yenfei. I haven't been able to find a chance until now. I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer, Ping, we will be off for now. Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu! <laughs> it seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. What a pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. When you next see the Fontaine musician, please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my nattering for one day. As for that melody, I will play it for you all another time. <laughs> Goodness knows I need to practice it first. <laughs> when that time comes, wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains, perhaps she will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. Let's roll! 
quake! Atta boy! <laughs> Can't catch me! Stabilize. Let's roll. Rise. <laughs> Bam. Gather. Catch me! Atta boy! back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Uh, are, 
Are you serious? Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally, Adepti don't age at all. Because it's what she wanted for herself. Madame Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. I think... Mm, yes. I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. Okay, all right. Nope, another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone.
Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Please, share your insights with me. We found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry, I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile.
Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. Right? Oh, no, wait. My mom feels like she's forgetting something. Why? What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. Jean Lee said he wasn't in a hurry, so if we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway, even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked them by himself. funeral parlor. All 
right. Let's take a break here. Oh wow, look who it is! Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? So you're just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh, okay. You don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all this open space, a clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Invisible audience members? <laughs> Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. Yan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Knock it off. What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shin Yan's courts and Yoon Jin as our mentor,
will take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. For sure! The whole dance floor will be yelling encore! Encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? Oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. We'll just have to trust Shin Yan on this one. Oh, Zhang Li! He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Shinyan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth, though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here, especially if you're in the mood to try something new. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. Actually, Shinyan, 
I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Oh, sure thing! I'm all ears! Traveler in Paimon, I believe Zhongli was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhongli, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. You should join us, too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. Boy! Illusion shattered! Let's roll! familiar face. Have you come from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great! But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself! In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhongli! Here you are! We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted!
impeccable timing. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait, that mechanism. Is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses! When she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. As for the banquet, hmm, since the Director insists, Far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Absolutely.
Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Thank you. I will examine it right away. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of this machine is commendable indeed. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Had one known that Cloud Retainer was in possession of such eminently useful devices, one would have sought to borrow one from- And yet, since you share my lack of enthusiasm for mechanisms and fine dining, it would have become a mere decorative ornament in your abode. Not so. Had one had such a device to make up for one's lack of culinary prowess, Trenha would not have had to rely on flowers and herbs alone for sustenance while under one's care. Hmm. In that case, shall we rendezvous with Cloud Retainer one day soon, and request to borrow one more Supreme Cuisine machine? A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. I intend to reminisce with my old friends for a while longer. You ought to get back to Liu Harbor. There is a performance you do not want to miss. Catch me! The man!
<laughs> I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hutao, <laughs> and this is a little something called... <laughs> You'll get burned! Hey! Woo! Yeah! Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? <laughs> I can't miss out on that. <laughs> May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all.
gifted of the parlor director. Always so generous. Come on, let's go. Can't catch me. So that's how it is. Thanks for the suggestions, Mr. Zhongli. I have them all noted down. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli. But I never knew that you were well-versed in the art of cooking, too. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. No need for formalities. I too feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. You flatter us. Um, if it's possible, may I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field, but if you don't mind, we could start by discussing... Oh, there's so many people here! Oh, we knew it was that hotel invited Zhang Li over. Paimon never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends. <laughs> Likewise, please take a seat. Happy Lantern Rite! Are you having fun? Me too. I've seen Shinyan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. I heard that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. She's more busy than ever, and Yunjin's gonna help her! Yep, and they asked us to pass on their season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The performance was spectacular indeed. However, it gave Sheng Ling a huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. Us? 
Did Xiangling ask you to try out her dishes too? <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share, too. Hold on! Xiang Ling came up with a new recipe? Here knows how to encourage people. Thanks, Paimon. Oh, and I have to thank Mr. Zhongli, too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. Yes. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around cooking. Chong Ling's ideas are truly unconventional. Her choices in both ingredients and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the tongue. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. I sample the dishes next time. Speaking of eating, Paimon feels like we're missing someone. Oh, Huta was the one who invited us, but she's not here! And... where's Guava? Oh, the Guoba 
volunteered to help Dad at the restaurant. You know, lots of people come over to eat during Lantern Rite. Without Guoba helping out, I probably wouldn't have had the time to accept Hu Tao's invitation. As for Hu Tao... The director went to collect a guest. She asked me to stay here and host you for the time being. Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Huta went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they are super important. Could it be... Kuching? Ningguang? Or... <gasps> Captain Beto? She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry into the details, could I? and I are both as swift as the wind, and whoosh, we made it just in time. I see. So the important guest is the Conqueror of Demons. I've been looking forward to meeting you. The Director didn't mention anything when she invited us. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace, Adeptus Alatus. To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor.
It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. <sighs> the director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Rex Lapis, may I ask what troubles you? The director asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebrations. Then why would you come all the way to Wangshu Inn? I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Xiao and received some spices from him. And, see, here's some Matsutake and a portion of ham. What about the sesame oil? Hmm. It's a shame. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. I'm sure you're exaggerating, Zhang. <clears throat> Sir. Oh, there he goes again. Enough with the pleasantries. Go let our guests take a seat. Everyone here today is well known in their own field and has probably heard about one another to some extent. Some of us are even old acquaintances. So there's no need to be this formal. I heard that the Conqueror of Demons and the Traveler are pretty close, no? Great! You two sit together! You should take a seat too, Director. Oh, finally remembered me. When we arrived just now, the host at Xinyue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Let's not wait any longer and ask them to bring up the food. Paimon would have never guessed the person who went to fetch was Xiao. Oh, that's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. You know Xiao Chu? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. You might not know this, Paimon, but 
We exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open and from the shadows. Hard to imagine that thanks to Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. Uh, we know each other too. He helped try my dishes during the Masterful Chef's cook-off. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. Happy Lantern Rite! No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Singcho, Xiangling and Changyun's friend. The pleasure is all mine. Whoa, everyone's getting all formal and polite all of a sudden. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what she should say anymore. Uh, a dip to show! Mighty Conqueror of Demons! Please accept Paimon's greetings too! Belated Happy Lantern Rite! Paimon tried very hard to look for a fancy word, okay? Don't be too harsh on Paimon! There's no need to be so polite. You're right. This was meant to be a nice little get-together between friends, after all. Too much formality kills the atmosphere. I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. Hiya. What's your true intention, then? A little get-together between friends, sipping the finest tea and watching lanterns float into the sky, bidding farewell to the past and embracing the present with joy. And that is something our consultant would say. I think it deserves a standing ovation. Indeed. Exceptional acting skills, Director. As for me, I'm just here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. We all worked really hard this year, whether traveling or guiding. Cooking, helping with the family business, exercising evil spirits, or conquering demons. And of course, our consultant, who's been helping out at the parlor every now and then. Everyone has done some pretty amazing things. As the one who brought everyone together, it goes without saying that I'm the one most deserving of praise. Huh? Sounds kind of self-important, but... 
Paimon thinks it's pretty amazing that she managed to talk Xiao into coming. He rarely ever enters Liyue Harbor after all. It wasn't as complicated as you think. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, boss lady. Uh, it's not boss lady, just boss. <sighs> and there she goes. What a lively girl. Conqueror of demons, adept as shall. Guardian of Wangshu In, Hero of Dihua Marsh. I know you're there. <sighs> Quiet. Do not disturb the peace. Show up if I didn't yell your name, would you? I know you. You're the 77th director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Is there something you need? <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. Did the Conqueror of Demons agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? There might be other reasons. To it? It gets pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the guardian yakshas. You know, just to be sociable. In the time of the Archon War, disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook the land. Humans couldn't escape from the torment of the plague, nor could they escape death. The Adepti vanquished the demons, the Millilith fought valiantly, and Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits of the dead. That is how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. And it effectively prevented further incidents from happening. That's right. One point for the consultant. Deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. You know him pretty well, huh?
This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. True, but I've kept that in mind too. That's why everyone here today is in one way or another acquainted with elemental power. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. There won't be any lasting consequences. But I didn't expect there to be so many people. There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. Our young exorcist over here is protected by his pure yang energy, so he's probably the most resilient. That's not the same. And did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? Hey, don't look away. Huh? What? Chongyun, I saw that too. You're lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being picky with their food. If he'd seen that, he'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromising? Hmm, but now that I think of it, Shangling told me that Guoba used to be the stove god. <laughs> it sounds like you've heard the rumors. I'm doing fine. Not long ago, before Lantern Rite, I met an old friend. Thanks to his help, things have been a lot more stable than before. You should know him. He's... <sighs> Seeds of story brought by the wind. And cultivated by time! Uh... Did Paima just unconsciously complete the thing? Th 
that voice? Could it be? Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. Uh, don't just sit there, Zhongli. Go welcome our guest in. No such need. I'm coming in. <laughs> you finally let me in. Hello, hello. No matter if we've met before or not, this moment marks a brand new encounter. Old friends and new, happy lantern right. Oh, it's the tone deaf bard. carry a valiant breeze wherever he goes. It looks like we're gonna be friends. Fate has brought us together, so come on, take a seat and be my guest. Help yourself. Oh, I'll ask them for another set of cutlery. Mm-hmm. This young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. She no doubt is the one with the most authority here. Whoa, these dishes look amazing! Is it really okay for me to join in? <laughs> All right, I'm digging it! Huh. It's you! Oh, isn't this Jenny? Hmm? Jenny? Uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're a fan of Jenny's works, aren't you? I'm at Sing Cho at a light novel convention. Oh, how I wish we'd met sooner. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Gen Yu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. <clears throat> Could this new guest be Master Singcho's friend? You remember me too, right? We had a chat not long ago. Yes, yes. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Rite. I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few days ago, when I happened to run into this... this... Hmm? You've already forgotten? I'm a bard, remember? And bards go around singing wherever they like. Uh, 
Oh, right. And this bard was performing in Dihua Marsh. It was a moving melody, and it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. I understand now, too. I'm Zhong Li, currently working at the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Unsatisfactory, let me know anytime. That's very considerate of you. Oh? Hmm. No wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an Impressive consultant. <laughs> oh, you're too nice, Venti. Not to brag, but our consultant truly really is impressive. His knowledge extends across the stars in the land, and there's nothing throughout history that he doesn't know. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> You're an adeptus. Do you think it might be possible? I... Sorry. I'm only good at conquering demons. I'm afraid I don't have much knowledge in that matter. Huh? And so it's, uh, pretty normal for him to not know anything. Yeah. Hmm. 
Eh? Really? I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. I've heard that he's elegant and amiable, his works witty and vibrant. It's no overstatement to regard him as the best bard in Mondstadt. <laughs> now you're making me embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run-of-the-mill sometimes. one I heard a while back that went, uh, The old house is renewed, welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine, a new flower that grows fine. Good one! It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. You have great taste, Vendi. I was afraid about you. Let's shake hands. Books when we get back? Pick out some well written ones. I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. Chung Yun's right. It's not our fault.
Oh, you have a point. But speaking of, why is the tone deaf bard here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Ride too? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? <laughs> or a listen. Getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence tour has finally been held successfully for once, so I had to congratulate him. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> Whenever Lantern Rite comes around, Liyue Harbor becomes bustling with activity. People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly, and we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. In a moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. Uh. Very well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since Mr. Zhang Li insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast with tea too. Everyone, thanks for the treat. You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Uh. All of a sudden, they started proposing toast! Should... should we?
What's with the urgency? <sighs> sure. Have you two finished eating? It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. Um... Uh... Pine will come too. Uh... Yeah? Okay then. Don't forget to come back! Are you all right? <sighs> I... It's hard to describe. It's not that. There were those among the Adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit-chat. Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. The Adepti all have their specialties, making most of them proud and arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. This time... No, no. I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity? I'll get straight to the point, then. The Animo Archon is a free spirit, and his temperament is as carefree as the music he plays on the flute. It's easy for a god like him to live in harmony with humans. And that's something I might never be able to do. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. No matter. I know my circumstances. Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels... strangely novel. Yes. The parlor director went out of her way with the invitation, so it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power, and I knew that you would be here.
but I didn't expect the other guests to be. General Capesis always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. But I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. The clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. Oh, here you are! Um, I'm not intruding, right? You're not. What is it? done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. that you weren't back yet, that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. And to be honest, I was kind of worried too. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here, and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yen Chao made. You're worrying too much. Why would I? Anyway, let's head back. Tofu? Yup. Since the Masterful Chefs competition, you could say that Yen Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Xuan sometimes to discuss our cooking. heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu, so I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. Oh, 
I'll be honest. Before Hu Chao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guests she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. So I made a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. When I told Globa that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot, too. Thank you for the trouble. There was no need to... I'll take them. Thank you. And Guoba, too. You're welcome. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yen Shao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Okay. Frost. 